Hi everyone, welcome to this session where we discuss the news that is relevant for your competitive examination that you should know as an aware citizen. Uh, so uh, a lot has to be discussed. It's the beginning of the month. We are entering the new month that is August. So let's see what are the important news on 1st August. Starting news of course has to be the most uh, burning issue of uh, the atrocities and the horrors that are going on in the uh, northeastern state of Manipur. Uh, the Supreme Court has said uh, to Manipur to give them complete breakdown of around 6,000 FIRs that uh, were registered. So uh, the Supreme Court has said that uh, we need a complete breakdown of approximately 6,000 uh, first information reports that is FIRs. Uh, that the money uh, poor government is said to have registered uh, during the ethnic cla uh, ethnic clashes uh, which included cases of uh, murder cases of rape cases of arson cases of crime against women and even burning of villages and homes and places of worship so multiple fir's were registered and supreme court is asking where is the record give us the complete breakdown of which fir was registered where uh, pertaining to these different cases uh, so the court has proposed that they will appoint its own special investigating team and uh, the bench was surprised to find that the center and as well as the Manipur government that is the state government uh, they are groping in the dark uh, for facts about crimes which are uh, of course public knowledge reported widely in the national media uh, if you have been in the social media or if you have been watching news you must have uh, you know come across this news several times about uh, how the women uh, in uh, Manipur were paraded naked and uh, you know the things like that uh, also the Supreme Court has observed that it is not an excuse for violence against Manipur uh, women uh, that uh, you know th this also happens in other states so the Supreme Court has said that the sexual violence that is committed against uh, women in Manipur cannot be excused on the ground that crime happened to women in other parts of the country also. So that that's that is not something that uh, could be entertained. Uh, so uh, the court suggested that uh, will constitute a separate uh, high uh, powered committee uh, of neutral persons. Uh, there is a great need in Manipur to administer a healing touch to restore a sense of faith in the administration because the violence is continuing unbated. Uh, the, the highest court has a deep concern and will send such officers and judges who are not politically aligned to give us a dispassionate view of what is happening on the ground in Manipur. Uh, so the Chief Justice of India said that we have to rebuild lives in Manipur. Again, uh, same uh, issue uh, th that uh, there cannot be any excuse for such violence. So, uh, Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur uh, observed uh, that there are crimes taking place against women. However, in Manipur, we are dealing with something which is of an unprecedented magnitude. So, this is something, uh, in, in fact, it was compared that it is much worse than even the rape cases that uh, we have heard, even the most. Uh, atrocious of rape cases that uh, have happened so he said that uh, they are all daughters of india uh, here uh, uh, miss uh, uh, swaraj uh, submitted that they are all daughters of india and the only difference is undoubtedly that there are crimes taking place against women all over the country that is part of our social reality however in manipur we are dealing with something which is of an unprecedented magnitude mainly crimes and the perpetration of violence in a situation of communal and sectarian strife that was observed by uh, Chief Justice of India. In another case, uh, it was held that the interest of national security uh, from defense perspective uh, is more important and it trumps over the public interest. Uh, so essentially the case was that uh, there was a tender that had gone to a private company having a consortium agreement uh, with a Chinese company uh, uh, which is contrary to the uh, union government's restriction uh, which is imposed on bidders from countries sharing land borders with India. So in this case it was held that since it's a matter of national security uh, you know the, the agreement the tender uh, that is not of priority but the national security has to be seen over uh, this public interest. 
uh, there was a plea uh, in the court in the Delhi High Court that there should be a total ban on cow slaughter uh, but the Delhi High Court declined a plea uh, that that seek this and said that uh, this can happen only through the legislature so a bench of justice uh, Sachi, uh, Satish Chandra Sharma and Justice Sanjeev Narula uh, while they were hearing a PIL uh, noted that there is already a ban on cow slaughter uh, uh, in the national capital through a law enacted by the Delhi government. The Supreme Court has observed that only a competent legislature can decide such questions arising in relation to the prohibition on the slaughter of cow and its progeny. Uh, so the High Court said that adding that the judiciary cannot compel the legislature to promulgate any particular legislation. So it's ultimately the legislature, the state legislature or the parliament has to come up with a law uh, regarding that. Uh, there is a case of a former judge who uh, was criticized for her ruling in a POXO case and she has now moved the Bombay High Court seeking pension. Uh, now the controversy was uh, this uh, Miss Ganedi Wala, Wala she came into uh, she came to highlight uh, uh, back in uh, for a ruling uh, in uh, 2021 January of 2021 uh, and she acquitted a man under POXO Act uh, uh, it was held that an act against a minor would amount to groping or sexual assault only when there was a skin to skin contact and uh, mere touching or pressing of a clothed body of a child did not amount to sexual assault. So this was very controversial and there was a lot of cr uh, criticism against this order. So uh, she had filed a plea uh, before the Nagpur bench of the High Court challenging a, a communication issue by the High Court registry and it had declared that she was not eligible or entitled for pension of a judge and other benefits. Uh, very important news regarding uniform civil code which has been in discussion for a while now. So there have been a deadline for public uh, uh, suggestions on uniform civil code and the deadline ended on 28th July. Now the law commission said that it will hold group discussions with people and communities, the stakeholders across the country to seek their inputs, to seek their opinion on uniform civil code. Uh, Bhopal gas, uh, Bhopal disaster is still in news even after so many years. Uh, so there is this, uh, the National Green Tribunal had uh, given directions to, uh, you know, this uh, that are 337 metric tons of hazardous waste stored on the Union Carbide uh, India Limited premises, which is the site of the 1984 uh, Bhopal gas tragedy, that has to be disposed of. Uh, but that is yet to be disposed of so uh, it's still there now the panel headed by environment minister proposed 126 crore rupees to the Madhya Pradesh government for disposal of the waste uh, according to the CPCB report NGD had in March 22 ordered government to take action within six months but is still pending uh, Delhi services bill is likely to be tabled today in Lok Sabha so as you know that there is a bill to replace the Delhi Services Ordinance uh, uh, that will be introduced in the Lok Sabha uh, today. Uh, the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Act 2023. Uh, this bill seeks to designate the Lieutenant Governor as the authority with a final say on the postings and transfers of all the bureaucratic servings under the Delhi Government. Now it remains to be seen how it turns out. Uh, we have Mr. Apoor Chandra uh, who has uh, uh, who now gets the additional charge of uh, DOT that is Department of Telecommunications. So uh, the appointment committee of the cabinet uh, said uh, uh, you know in a memorandum on Monday uh, that uh, uh, the this uh, Apoor Chandra uh, will be the uh, additional uh, gets the additional charge of DOT. Uh, also, in the information and uh, broadcasting, INB ministry uh, it has been given authority over online advertisement. So the amendment to the allocation of business rules 1961, uh, uh, it, it places online advertisements under the purview of the INB ministry. Uh, the ministry was already looking at the on online adver advertising, uh, most uh, notably through circulars in 2022, warning TV channels as well as OTT streaming services to stay clear of ads from betting and gambling firms. 
we also have another bill uh, here that is cinematograph bill uh, that is aimed at curbing piracy uh, that has been cleared by Lok Sabha. So uh, this bill, uh, the, passed the, uh, the, the Lok Sabha passed the cinematograph amendment bill 2023 uh, after the draw law, uh, a draft law was cleared by Rajya Sabha. Uh, the bill provides for fining and imprison, imprisoning people who record movies inside theaters. It also expands the number of age ratings uh, which are available to the uh, Central Board of Film Certification that is CBFC. And good news coming from ISRO, it has successfully puts, uh, put uh, Chandrayaan-3 in translunar orbit. That is to say, uh, it performed the translunar interjection uh, to slingshot uh, Chandrayaan-3 towards the moon early uh, on Tuesday. Uh, the TLI, that is the translunar injection, uh, was performed successfully from ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network, ISTRAC, uh, in Bengaluru. Uh, bombing in Pakistan, uh, the Islamic State has claimed responsibility for bombing in uh, Pakistan and the toll uh, rises to 54 in that suicide blast. Uh, so there was a political convention in Pakistan where this uh, blast happened. Uh, it injured more than 100 people in Khar, over 500 people were present during the same uh, during the time of the blast. Uh, JUIF uh, whose rally was targeted is part of the coalition government of Shahbaz Sharif. Uh, from Myanmar, the Myanmar Janta government has extended the state of emergency for six months. Uh, uh, so, of course, there will be delay in the polling. Now, uh, as you as you might be aware, that uh, there has been a, a, you know the, this uh, that Myanmar has been ravaged by deadly violence uh, since a coup deposed uh, Aung San Suu Kyi's government uh, more than uh, two years ago. Uh, so that unleashed a bloody crackdown. Uh, on this end, and now we have the state of emergency, which is now being extended for six more months. Uh, China and Pakistan are having agreements. They ink six agreements uh, to under uh, help undertake the second phase of a sixty billion dollar China-Pakistan economic corridor project under a new model. Uh, India's core sector at 8.2 percent, it touches the five-month high in June. So uh, seven of the eight core sectors registered an uh, uptick uh, in the month. These constitute 40.3 percent of the index of industrial production. Uh, as far as fiscal deficit is concerned, uh, when we say fiscal deficit, that means the gap between uh, the expenditure and the revenue. Uh, that has touched a 25.3% of full year target in April and June as per the uh, Comptroller and Auditor General report. Uh, coming to GST evasion amount, so 2.68 uh, lakh crore rupees has been detected as the GST evasion amount between uh, financial year 21 and uh, financial year 24. Uh, United States is the biggest export market for India made smartphones as per a government data. So India exported 2.43 billion worth of smartphones in April May uh, this fiscal uh, driven by a multifold jump in the shipments to the US which emerged as the biggest destination for India made devices according to the data. In sports we have uh, Bedabrath Bharali, uh, who got India its second gold medal in the competition with a 273 kg lift in the men's 67 kg youth category on day 4 of the Asian Junior Youth Weightlifting Championship, uh, which was held at Greater Noida. That's all for right now. Thank you so much. Uh, see you in the next session with more set of news. Uh, till then, stay updated, keep reading newspaper. All the best. See you in the next session.